Hi there, everybody. It's Dr. Turnquist Roll here with another exciting mathematics lesson. Do you remember what graphs are? Well, today I want to talk to you about pictographs. Are you ready to explore this concept with me? Well, here we go. Here are today's learning goals. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe a graph as a picture that shows information or data. Define a pictograph as a graph using pictures to show data. And state the purpose of the key, which is to tell what the pictures mean. Are you up for today's learning challenge? I sure hope so, because here we go. Data. Data is the information on a graph. And in order for the information to be made a part of the graph, it has to be collected. When we collect data, we are making considerations regarding more, less, and fewer comparisons. The graph is a picture that shows the information or the data. The graph means then what is shown. Here's a picture of a graph, but this graph is a special kind of graph. It's called a pictograph. If you remember, a little earlier in this video, I described a pictograph as a graph that shows pictures or uses pictures to show data. Here's a picture of a pictograph. Do you see that it uses pictures to show information or data? Can you guess what this graph is showing us? Hmm. Let's look a little more closely into the parts of a pictograph. The first consideration is the key. Here's the key. The key tells us what the pictures on the pictograph represent. So here on this pictograph, we have mangoes, apples, bananas, and oranges. Where we see one mango, we know that that means five mangoes. So when we count the pictures to find out how many then, we'd count in fives. Do you remember how to count in fives? Do you remember how I told you how much I love to sing? Well, let me help you to remember how to count in fives. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. When we count the fruits on this pictograph, we are going to count in fives. Another part of the pictograph I want you to pay very close attention to is the title. The title is the heading of the graph telling its purpose. Here's the title. Our title reads, Student Survey, Fruits Eaten. So this tells us the fruits that the students have eaten and how many fruits they've eaten. Just by looking at the pictograph, we can tell that the student favorite is the apples. How do we know this? Well, we see that the apples have the most pictures. So it's safe to say that apples are the class or the student's favorite fruit. When we look at graphs, our job is to read the graphs. When reading a graph, our dual purpose 
is to solve problems and make decisions. Here's where your thinking cap goes on because I'm going to ask you a few questions about this graph. I want you to remember the parts of the graph. This is the pictograph. Here is the title. Student survey, fruits eaten. Here are the columns, fruit, and the listing of the fruits that the students in the class like, as well as the number of students and pictures that represent the number of students. A very critical part of this graph is the key. The key tells us what each picture means. When I look at this key, I understand that each mango is counted as a five. Each apple is counted as a five. Each banana is counted as a five. And each orange is counted as a five. That means when I consider the totals of each of these pictures, then I have to count in fives. Are you ready to count in fives with me? We're going to begin by counting the group of mangoes. Can you remember how to count in fives? Let's go. Five, 10, 15. That means then that the group of students have eaten 15 mangoes. Let's count the apples by counting in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50 apples have been eaten by this group of students. Let's move on to the bananas. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 bananas have been eaten by this group of students. Finally, we will count the oranges by counting in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 oranges have been eaten by this group of students. Now that we've counted each of the groups, I want us to make some considerations about this pictograph. So let's consider some questions. Here's the first question. Which group of fruits is least liked by the group of students? The key word here is the word least. Do you remember what the word least means? If you said that least means smallest, you are one smart cookie. So, let me restructure my question. Which group of fruits is liked the least or has been eaten in the smallest amount by this group of students? If you said the mangoes, you are absolutely right. The mangoes have been eaten the least because the smallest number of mangoes was eaten at 15. So let's go to the opposite consideration now. Which group of fruits was most liked by this group of students? Most considers greatest or more or most. If you said apples, you are absolutely right. This group of students has eaten 50 apples. So that means that apples are the student's favorite because they've eaten the greatest amount of apples. 
Which group of fruits is liked second best by this group of students? Well, we know that 50 is the biggest number or greatest number. So now we are considering which group has the second biggest number or the number that would come second if we are ordering from greatest to least. If you said the bananas, you are absolutely positively correct. The bananas are the second favorite fruits of this group of students. Hmm. Here's the final consideration I'd like for you to make. How many apples and oranges were eaten by the students? Do you know what you would do to decide on this number? You will have to count the group of apples along with the group of oranges. Do you remember that the apples and the oranges are both counting in fives? So when we count both groups, we count them all together in fives. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. The students have eaten 75 apples and oranges this week. This group of students surely do like fruits. Hmm. Here are today's takeaways. A pictograph is a graph that represents data using pictures. The parts of the pictograph are the title, the graph, the key, and our job is to solve problems and make considerations of each graph. The key is the most vital part of the graph for reading. It helps us to understand what each of the pictures represent. Well, I sure had a great day with you. And I certainly hope you had a great day with me. Just before I go, I'd like you to remind your parents or anybody who's at the house with you and would like to assist to now navigate you to games, videos, and worksheets that will help to cement the concept taught here today. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.